Hi Smart Traders, it's Lucas from Crunchyroll. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you my method to create profitable trading strategies. Let's get started. The first thing to do is a roadmap because we want to know where we want to go and it's very important to do that because when you know where you want to go, you know what you need to do, okay? For example, if I want, okay, for my roadmap, 30% of return by year and a maximum drawdown around 6 or 7%. I know that I can take some strategies risking, for example, 3% of my capital because in two losing trades, I will touch my maximum drawdown, okay? It's quite logical. And for example, if I want 7% of drawdown maximum, I were risking 0.5% maximum by shred, okay? And it's very important to adapt your strategies to your roadmap, okay? My roadmap is 30% of return by year and 7% of drawdown maximum. I have also several other aspects like the number of trade, the risk by trade, the risk by month, etc. And if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments if you want another video talking about that. Then I will extract some data. You can really take the data that you want, okay? The most used data are the condo, okay? Open, high, low, close, volume, etc. Okay? But you can take fundamental analysis, you can take alternative data, you can really take what you want, okay? So it's very important to base your analysis on some data, okay? And enough data to have the possibility to make several period to test your strategy. And it's very important to do that to avoid to overfit your algorithm. To extract my data, I use generally MetaTrader 5 because I trade on MetaTrader 5. I will use the MetaTrader 5 Python library to extract the data. And if you want to know more about that, you can check my course, MetaTrader 5 Live Trading Using Python, with the link in the description. Then we need to create some features. It's the features engineering step. And it's very important to do it very carefully because if you will give some garbage data to your algorithm, in output, you will have garbage output. So you don't need to skip the features engineering step. It's very important. So now I will give you some new features that you can create using the condo. For example, all the technical analysis, you can create some price action, you can create some short analysis, you can create quantitative variable like the previous return, like the volatility of the market, you, you can really create a lot of things. You can create alternative data. For example, you can check the impact of the Elon Musk tweets on the market. So you can really create a lot of features. Then once we have some very good features, we can create some algorithm. And it's very important to understand that is not the complexity of the algorithm that will give you good returns, but the previous feature. So you can create a linear regression, a SVM, and you can have a very good result, a very profitable strategy because you have good features and you can create very complex deep learning algorithm and you will have garbage output because you have put garbage input. So very important to understand that. Usually I use only machine learning data because I work on hourly data, so I have less than 100,000 data. But if you have very huge data sets, like 300,000, 1 million, you can work with deep learning. For example, if you work with minute data for scalping strategy, you can use deep learning. Now we'll talk about the backtest. It's really important to understand that the backtest is the most important part, really, because features engineering is important, the roadmap is important, but if you make some error here, it's not really important because you will find them in the backtest. So if you make an error in the backtest, you will lose money, okay, obviously. So first, 
you need to cut it very carefully. You don't need to make some interference in the data, for example, predict the past using the future. It's very important, okay? Okay, someone can expect that it's a little obvious, but when you code, it's very frequent to make this issue. It's very important to hear what I will say. You need to take some data that you don't have used never in the process. Okay, you will train some algorithm, you will test your strategy, you will optimize, etc. You take a big part of the data, 80%, for example, you will work a lot on this data, you will optimize your strategies, you will create your algorithm, you will make a lot of things. And the last 20%, you will never touch them. You will use them only one time. You will optimize your strategy on the 80%. And once you think that your strategy is good for the real world, you will take the 20 last percent and you will backtest your strategy on this 20 last percent of the data. And only one time, because if you test your strategy several times on the same test period, you will create an underlying overfitting, okay? It's really like the overfitting in machine learning. You will to adapt your strategy to the data set. So very important to test only one time or really maximum two times your strategy on the test set. Once you will think that your strategy is good, you will put it in a paper trading. It means that you will put your strategy in the real market, but in a demo account. To be sure that you will not lose money if you have made any mistakes, okay? It's very important to do that one month, three months, okay? To have such significant results. Only then, once the backtest and the paper trading results are similar, you can put your strategy in production, okay? But don't think that when you put your strategy in production, you will do nothing. Once your strategy is on the real market, you need to keep looking the results of your strategy to be sure that over the time, the market will not go to the equilibrium. And so if the market go to the equilibrium, theoretically, your strategy will doesn't work anymore. So you will need to cut your strategy, find some other strategies, and then repeat until you want to make trading, okay? So it's the job of the quantitative trader. You need to create several strategy over the time because sometimes some strategy will not be profitable anymore. So you need to replace them by some new strategies that are profitable, and then you keep to be profitable over the time. That's all for this video. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments if you prefer this type of video. It's very essential to me to create some more interesting content. And don't hesitate to like the video. It's very essential for my SEO.